God told me Tenebo will win 2023 presidential election. Bishop Kayode Williams. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. To get notified when we post hot juicy news updates, please click on the notification bell. In an interview with the nation, he said he received a message about Tenebo becoming president three times from God. A man of God, Bishop Kaido Williams, have claimed that God has told him that Bola Tenebo is his choice for 2023. The founder of Christ versus of Grace Church stated that Tenebo has won the 2023 presidential election. Before he showed him into evangelism, it was a notorious Amdara who spent time in prison where he met Christ. In an interview with the nation, he said he received a message about Tenebo becoming president three times from God. You said you received the messages fries on how Tenebo will emerge victorious in the 2023 presidential election. Can you mention these days and times the messages came to you? He replied, I will need to check all those dates to be able to give a specific answers. But I remember sometime last year, 2021, I shared a message with Cardinal James Omalaja Udumbakun, Udumbakun, also known as Babeto. He is the visionary president of Christ Ambassador So Winners because I believe he's closer to Tunumbo. He went to his house. So when this message came, God told me to take it to Udumbaku. He, but he was not around. When he came back, he called me and said, Bishop, I saw your message for Tunumbo. I said, Emaje Kotutu. Ogbono, Tunumbo Mawoli. It's hot. Don't let it get cold. Tunumbo will win. That time, even the shenanigans we are all seeing today was happening because nobody was even thinking about elections. Then, at another program, I asked him last year, have you given this message to Tunumbu? And when I went back to Baba Teju Shu and said, God has spoken, he agreed with me, but said that we should go back and listen to God again. I'm quoting him verbally. He told me last year. He said, you have only confirmed it once. I want God to confirm it again. That I went back and he, Obate Joshua, asked Kiyoluwa Tunso Shetunobuyi Shetunobuyi Nash What God has said this time is it still Tunobu? Tunobu said Olumwa Tunobu Kabiesi Then I said Kabiesi Oni Tunobu Ni Oluwa Tunso Yes, Kabiesi is the one God confirmed the third time was last month or two months ago. Elder Faje, Faje, Faje Misin was still with me. We were writing, updating the notes and preparing the letters together. But we could just, we could not just bring out a piece of paper and pass it to Tudumba and say this is the message. We had to sit down. Faje Misin is a journalist of high repute. He retired as a director of programs in NTE Abuja. He knows my integrity and hence decided to join this ministry. He knows what I'm saying. He was the one writing. So the third message now came. That was the last one and we were preparing how to take the message to Baba Kandi because God mandated us to go and give Baba Kandi. But they say Baba Kandi was in Abuja. I don't want to get to the gate of Tudumbu and be looking around like a nuisance. Even some pastors have been troubling me to lead people to Buddha with saying that that way I can gain access to Tudumbu. But I told them to wait for God's direction. When Tudumbu returned from London after his medical trip, they forced me and I had to dance to their tune. So we took my car and some others. Justice Shugola, the president of this organization, Mama does not believe in Mbatin Mbatin, only consequently when the prophet said, but because of the integrity and trust she has found in me, she had decided to accept the leadership because she had been seeing the consistency and the follow-up of all the prophetic messages. And I said, Mama, because you know all these things, you are a judge of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. You are retired from the National Industrial Court. You're part of us. This is just to confirm to the whole world that this is not an imagination because if a judge is a part of this setup, any reasonable person will know we are not joking here. This is a woman, not a frivolous person. You can go and check her antecedents. antecedents. So she accepted. So when I now informed Obatejo so that Kabiesi, this letter must go, must be submitted. He said, glory be to God. That is what is Jerry not to speak up now. The copy is for Tunumbu. He wanted to go through his daughter, Shadi, because the Yaloja lives in the same place with my wife. But my fear is that if I go anyhow, people will say it is manipulation. But I know Shadi as my daughter. But this is God's message. 
But I told myself, I cannot use that familiarity to say, Shadi, go and give your father, because God said. Politics is big business which requires funding. You have mentioned that your hope, your group hopes to mobilize support for him. Who is going to be bankrolling this project? He replied, in the 774 local governments in Nigeria, we have members. God has decided in his infinite mercy to grant us the opportunity of the mandate in the six geopolitical zones in Nigeria. But we must mobilize people to be praying for the success of the election and success particularly of Tunambu in our every area. Our mandate is that because we are sure of what God has said that it will come to pass, that immediately he starts his campaign, all our members in the city, we must mobilize to go and be praying and make sure there is no calamity. The prayer point is that he should win. He has won already. This is not a prediction, neither is it a forecast, permutation, or guesswork. God said Bola made to be his choice for Nigeria come 2023. In fact, our members are no longer praying for Tenumbu to win the election because we know his victory has already been sealed in heaven above. We only pray that God protects him from all forms of evil machinations ahead of his inauguration in 2023. Note this down. You are a leader in Christendom. Interestingly, as he was a is a Muslim. How do you marry this? Couldn't the Lord have shown you Christian as against a Muslim? God does not see the things way the way we do. If God wants to send rain, he sends rain for both Christians and Muslims. God does not see anybody as a Christian or Muslim. He sees us as the work of his friends. We have made a choice in the world to follow. That is the way God is saying us. It was when I came out of the prison that I went to the university to do diploma in human resource management to increase my knowledge. God does not look at the people he created as Chinese or Russians. God sees them as human beings. And that is what the Bible says that in the beginning, God created them male and female. Did he mention Muslim? When God speaks, I cannot go and quarrel the integrity of God. Galatians 3.